Hello guys, welcome to Excel series. Today we are learning about Power Query Editor. And as I have already told you about all of these options, today we will learn about keep rows and remove rows option and the sort function. So I have this data and for example, I just want to keep the top rows and I want to just keep four rows on the top and them flat. Okay, so this will delete all the other row except the first four one. I has kept the first rows. And if you want to see the code behind it, you can go to Advanced Editor and then you can see the code behind it. So we have used the curl kept first row and this will delete the first four rows and keep the other rows let's undo this step and try the other options and then we have keep bottom row this is same this will keep the bottom row for example i want to just keep four bottom rows i will select okay now this get the four bottom rows then we have keep the range of rows so for example i want to keep the range of rows from row three till row seven and then select okay this will keep the range of rows let's undo this step and go back then we have keep duplicate this will mean that you can keep the rows containing duplicate values and then we have keep errors this if you have any error this will keep that row and then we have remove top rows so these are the quick options you can try so remove top row will remove the top rows for example for example i want to remove top two rows and then select okay this remove the top two rows let's undo the step and then check out remove bottom row this is same this will remove the two bottom rows for example let's remove two bottom rows so it's removed the two bottom rows then we have remove alternate row this means you can specify the pattern of row to remove and keep so i want first row to remove is number two and then number of rows you want to remove is one number of rows to key will be one and then select ok this will remove alternate rows for example you can jump one step and remove the row this can be useful in some cases and you have messy data in your excel you can clean out that way now undo this step and then we have remove duplicate this will remove the duplicate as we don't have any duplicate so it didn't show much difference and then we have remove blank rows we don't have any blank rows and then remove errors we don't have any errors so this will not show any difference and then we have sort options so for example first is ascending order is it was already ascending order and then you can select the column that you want it to be ordered so i have selected the order id and then i want it to be descending now it's in descending order so i can sort this in ascending order or the ascending order so hopefully you understand the basic options sync power query and how powerful they are and then you can close and load this data back into excel by just clicking over here now you have your data loaded back into excel if you liked the video press the like button and follow for more videos like it